if all of us die now, bah, there's nothing like Jesus you will see there. It's one person. Trinity in one. You can't separate the sun, S-U-N, from the sun rays and from the heat of the sun. It is one. But they do different function. But inside one. Jesus was an instrument God created to magnify or to, to show his ability. I can be Jesus. You can. That is why I say when he died, he duplicated Jesus'. God duplicated Jesus's. That was why he said in John 14, I said, greater work than this will you do. Don't look at me. I am God. He's not trying to edify himself. No, I am God. This is a confusion we and the Islam are having. The word is powerful. There is power in spoken words. And every speaking word you speak are not yours. Jesus said, the word I speak are not mine. They are given to me by my father. There is something I would like to blow your mind. You are reading. You don't know what we are reading. Let's look at Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to 3. Let's read together. Genesis 1. It's in the beginning. Please read according to the leading of the Holy Ghost. It's in the beginning. God created. God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form. The earth was without form and void. And darkness was on the face of the deep. And the spirit, that is what was in the beginning. One thing again, God, the spirit, God and the spirit. These two things are in the beginning. God and the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Three. Then the same God. Trinity in one God. Then the same God said. What is said? What is said? S-A-I-D. Word. What is said? Word. That's three things was with God in the beginning. Three things was with God in the beginning. God himself was in the beginning. The spirit of God was in the beginning. And the word of God was in the beginning. There was no Jesus in the beginning. Pay attention. I'm going somewhere. Please pay attention. In the beginning was God. In the beginning was the spirit of God. In the beginning was the word of God. Now, let's see John chapter 1 from verse 1 to 5. Let's pay attention also to read, to understand. In the beginning was the word, which is he said. S-A-I-D. Said is a word. That word that was said was in the beginning. In the beginning was the word. And that word was with God. God said. And that word was with God. And that very word He's trying to explain to us what Genesis 1 said. And that thing God said is God. And that word was God. That word was in the beginning with God. All things were made through that word. Without that word, nothing was made that was made. Now, 1 John 5 verse 7. 1 John 5 verse 7. Pay attention. He said, for there are, for there are, for there are, for there are three that bear witness in heaven. The Father, the Word, and His spirits. Not Jesus. Pay attention. The Father, the Word, the spirits. These three are one. Calling that name Jesus is an entity. But there is what makes. Look up here. Gabriel sent an errand 
to Mary, the word is said, a son shall be given. His name shall be called Emmanuel. What is Emmanuel? God will come. Now, once you go to verse first, uh, John chapter 1 from verse 4 to 5, that word became flesh. Pay attention. Pay attention. He said, and the word became flesh. John 1, 14. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. That is the Emmanuel. Now, this physical Jesus, the England are using, they don't know the face. They disfigured the way God gave us how he looked like. He's brownish in color. This is what the Bible said. Adam was the first created and Jesus is the first flesh Adam. Look up here. Adam was a clay God formed. Right? And breathed into that clay and Adam became a living soul. Right? Now, the Bible says Jesus is the last Adam. Jesus, right? The one the England gave the name Jesus, which is nothing like such in Jewish word or Greek. Are you getting me? Now, God formed a clay, right? And bred in the womb of Mary, right? And the flesh became you and I, right? And God himself now, which is the word, enter into that flesh. And that flesh came out. Right? Now, that flesh you see is just an intermediary. That flesh that came down from the womb of Mary, right? Was just an intermediary because God is a spirit, you can't see him. It was just an intermediary God entered for us to see his magnitude acts. Are you getting me? If Jesus is to come, he will not come with such flesh. Jesus is not coming as in with flesh. That is why Apostle Paul said, flesh and blood cannot enter the kingdom of God. Jesus has to keep that body down. That's why when he ascended, they came to touch him. He said, I can vanish. The one you see talking is the one that created you. But that flesh that was with you was your kind. Am I making sense? Now, Jesus, the man you see moving on the water, wasn't him moving on the water, but God inside him moving. That's why he said, the work you see me do, he's trying to explain to you, it's not I that do, but the one that is inside me. If all of us die now, but there's nothing like Jesus you will see there. It's one person. Trinity in one. You can't separate the sun, S-U-N, from the sun rays and from the heat of the sun. It is one. But they do different function. But inside one. The sun, you can visibly see the sun. Right? But you can't visibly see the heat of the sun. You can feel it. Right? And the sun ray appear and disappear. Okay. If you connect frequency of radioactive frequency, radio, into this lion and put antenna in this lion and tune in the frequency 90.5 to get the channel where the governor is making a broadcast, right? Now, this lion, the speaker they will put here, will begin to talk. I am the governor of Plateau States. Nobody should come out by tomorrow, right? This lion applied the wire and the speaker. It's just an intermediary a instrument to pass message of what the governor is saying in the radio brokers. Now, and why are you obeying the word that come out here? 
you are not obeying this lion, but the word of the governor in Rodo Brokers coming out of this lion. I don't know if you're getting me here now. Jesus was an instrument God created to magnify or to, to show his ability. I can be Jesus. You can. That is why I say when he died, he duplicated Jesus's. God duplicated Jesus's. That was why he said in John 14, I said, greater work than this will you do. Don't look at me. I am God. He's not trying to edify himself. No, I am God. This is a confusion we and the Islam are having. If you believe, God will enter you the way he used my body. That's what Jesus was trying to say. To show men his ability. Am I making sense? Sometimes, look at me. The more you edify me, the more you are committing idolatry. I am a human being. Everything you need, I need it. Do you have lust? I have lust. Do you have envy? I have envy. Do you have jealousy? I have jealousy. Do you have anger? I have anger. But when the spirit now, of God now, entered me, because I am willing, it suppresses such spirits that will deny him from manifesting. I use my body to speak to you. That is why I can tell you what I was not born. My mother was not born. And I will tell you, go and inquire. And I will say, if it does not happen, I am not called. That is Jesus. So if you are expecting another Jesus to come, who? Bah! No. God has used that flesh. He can come now, use a lion. That's what Revelation will say. You will see a ten... A lion will turn hand, will turn. He can use a lion and come. He can use anything. God can use any object. He can use your body. He can use my body. He can use anything. But you can't see him. He's invisible. He's with us, God. With the things you can see, with the magnitude arts, with the miraculous words, with many things you see he used me to do, you will know God is here. How shall we know Jesus? If you say you don't believe in me, he said believe in the good works. Like, I come as a mortal being to believe in God because of what he's using me to do. I called to see what God is doing in the east. I understood it's not me. If I need the money, he provide it. How? If I boast, he will kill me. He's showing men, I, the Lord, can do it. Remember what happened to King Nebuchadnezzar? When he moved around the temple, God used him to do. He wanted to take the glory. God said, you, today, you will be a beast. So everything you see, there is a force behind it. That force is God. That force is God. Until you make yourself available, sir, then you understand how God works. Mm -hmm.